guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about my kindle um whether or not i think it's worth it to get a kindle my thoughts on the kindle um i've had my kindle for six months now i got it for christmas and so far i'm really loving it um so i have the kindle paperwhite i have the i believe it's the 11th generation um I'll look it up and put the specifics somewhere. Um, it'll probably be at the bottom of the screen, but I'll put the like specifics of what my Kindle is somewhere. It'll probably be in the description too. Um, I've got the one that's got like the sage green cover. I do, or like the sage green backing. I do not currently have a cover for it, um, but I do hope to get one really soon. Um, but I haven't had any problems with like dropping it or anything like that or like keeping it safe when I travel with it, things like that. Um, I typically try to make sure that I keep it towards like the top of my bag or like the front of my bag um, so that I don't crush it. Um, I'm not really sure how much a case protects a Kindle like it does a phone. I don't really know how fragile it is because the screen isn't glass, it's more of like plastic I would say. But I do want a case so that I can put stickers on the back because I'm not sticking them to the back because then if I want to change them out, I can't because then they're sticky. It's a whole thing. I just, I don't want the sticky residue on my Kindle. Um, so that's why I'm waiting to put stickers on until then. And that's why it's just a naked Kindle right now. Um, but so far I really enjoyed having my Kindle. I do not have Kindle Unlimited. Um, but, and for those of you that don't, want Kindle Unlimited or you're balling on a budget like I am so you can't really get Kindle Unlimited um if you have Amazon Prime and you connect your Kindle to the account that has Amazon Prime then you can get some books for free I've been able to get Flawless and Powerless by Elsie Silver for free I've been able to get uh what else have I gotten for free? I've got a couple Freedom McFadden books for free I've gotten The Inmate and Never Lie um, I've gotten, what else have I gotten? If you're more of like a comic book reader, I've gotten a couple comic books for free. Um, there's been Star Wars ones. I've seen Marvel ones, but I haven't, um, like downloaded any of those to my Kindle because I'm kind of trying to get through the physical Marvel comics that I have right now before we venture out into more of that area. Um, what else have I got? Oh yes, I have... The first book in the Ruby Creek series by Elsie Silver. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I've gotten Out of the Gate, which is the prequel to that series for free. So yeah, I've gotten quite a lot of like popular books for free. And then once a month, they have a selection of books that you can like picked by editors or something like that um, that you can get for free. Um, they don't typically have a good selection, but I'm also kind of picky of like books um or authors that I haven't heard of before I'm like typically really picky about those books just because I haven't heard anything about them um I didn't realize how close to my bookshelf is until I leaned back and felt it and was like what on earth anyways so there's that so yeah that has been really good so I have been able to get books for free on my kindle um so it's not like entirely useless I guess I would say one thing I like about the kindle is that you can have it where you just see the um, covers of the books or you can have it where you see like the cover of the book off to the side and the title and the author and then like whether you got it on Prime or not, um, what percentage you're at in the book and then whether or not you've read the book. Um. I like to have it that way because when I had it where I could just see the covers, I could not find a book to save my life because most of them I know by the titles and not the covers um, that are in my library. So it's easier to have it that way because then I can see the title and then the cover is off to the side. It just makes it easier in my brain, if that makes sense. Also, I'm holding this up so we can understand what I'm talking about in it allows me to see what I got going on over here but I also got b-roll going on so you guys can see a close-up of that so I don't have to shove my kindle in your face every five seconds um so there's that um and then they do have like recommend recommendations for you on the home page so 
that is always good if I'm trying to find a book for a video, um, but I don't want to go buy a physical book. If I want to find a book for a video, but I don't, again, balling on a budget. If I don't want to go out and buy a book for a video, um, I can typically find something for free on Prime or I have a lot of books saved up in my library from um, different like deals that I have been able to get. Um, Stuff Your Kindle Day has been really great. There's different days, there's different dates for different genres of books and different subgenres of books. Um, so I always make sure that I'm up to date on the Stuff Your Kindle Day dates because then you can get books for free depending on what genre it is for that specific Stuff Your Kindle Day. Um, so I have gotten a couple books for free on there which has been really great um and i do do i do really highly recommend um participating in stuff your kindle day because i have actually found some pretty good books from stuff your kindle day to be quite honest with you it's not typically the super popular books that they do but they have been really good books and i've really enjoyed the ones that i've read so far there's a couple that i haven't gone to yet but the ones that i have read so far I really enjoyed um and it really just depends on like what your preferences are for what you like to read then of course we have the main reason that i use my kindle and ironically oh it turned on again hold on the book for the cover that i have right now is an arc that i'm reading and that's what we're going to talk about so arcs are a very big thing in the bookstagram world and probably book talk but i don't have tiktok i don't really know what goes on over there so i don't know if arcs are a big deal on book talk as they are on bookstagram but they are a pretty big deal on bookstagram if you have bookstagram you you know um a lot of people get sent arcs and there are a lot of arcs there's literally so many arcs that you can find on Instagram through NetGalley. Um, I think you can go on to, oh my goodness, what's it called? Oh my goodness, what's it called? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Book Funnel, it's called Book Funnel. You, I'm pretty sure you can also go on to Book Funnel and find arcs through there and then apply for them and then you get them sent depending on if you get accepted or not. I'm pretty sure you can do that on Book Funnel too, but I know you can go on to NetGalley and create account and request arcs through there. Um, and then you can get them sent to your Kindle. Um, so that is the main re way that I use my Kindle is for ARCs. Um, basically, um, basically, so Book Funnel, you get the link sent from Book Funnel. You don't have to download the Book Funnel app, which has been really great because my storage is shot at this point. But like, you, you know, it sends you to the, the website for the book, you download it, you send it to your Kindle. If you have the Kindle, you do have to get the Kindle app on your phone to do this, by the way. Um, but you can send the book to the Kindle app and then it will automatically link up with like your physical Kindle and then the app on your phone as well. Um, which has been great because then I don't have to read a PDF, which I used to do before I had a Kindle one, I would get the book funnel link, I'd have to read it as a PDF on my phone, and I would lose track of what chapter I was in every single time because it's a PDF, and you click out of it, and, like, if you get rid of the whole, like, Safari page or the Google page on your, you know what I'm talking about, then you lose your progress because it's a PDF, and that was really irritating because then I would have to, like, write down somewhere, okay, you're on chapter 28, um, the next time that I picked up the book, which was typically the next day, but, I mean, it's been, like, 24 hours, 12 hours since I opened the book. So my placing is gone. Um, so that has been really nice for reading ARCs on here. Um, another way that I have been able to get free books is following indie authors. They typically, it's, it's very rare, but when like you see it happening you got to jump on it because it's typically like a 24 hour day where they will help if their books go on sale um for like 24 for like a 24 hour period for free um and then you can get books for free which I've gotten several I want there was one time that I locked up somehow and an author was doing like a bundle with a bunch of other authors um so I got 25 books for free and I'm like, I'm not kidding. Like it, the 25 books were free. Like I did not pay a dime. Um, 
So that has been another way that I've been able to get books for free without having Kindle Unlimited is when indie authors have their books go on sale for free, which has been, it's actually really interesting that they do that because they do everything themselves. Like they don't have a publishing company backing them, but I mean, it's free books. So I, I take care, take advantage of that opportunity. Um, another thing I think is cool about the Kindle is that whatever book you're reading, the cover, like when you, hold on. Okay, so you're reading a book and you're done for the day or whatever and you turn it off. And then the cover is, there's literally gonna be a b-roll of this, so I don't need to show you, but you turn it off and the cover of whatever book you're reading um, is like on the screen. But like your Kindle is turned off and it's not running your battery down, which I think is really cool. It is a special setting that you have to turn on um, in your settings, which I will show you guys how to do. Um, you go to your settings, which is right there. You go to screen and brightness, and then you just hit show covers on lock screen. And then when you turn your Kindle off, you have the cover. Um, if you don't turn that on, then it just, um, it just gives you like a random stock image. So yeah, my like overall view, I guess, would be that I highly recommend it. Um, even if you don't get Kindle Unlimited or don't want to or can't or whatever the case may be, um, I still highly recommend it, especially if you read a lot of ARCs. Um, this has been very helpful with that. Um, but that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload, which is on Mondays. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.